Welcome to Nextstar TV. My name is Emily and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 Lesson 3, Styles and Change Styles. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Styles section on your Home tab. We'll talk about all the features of your Quick Style Gallery and your Style Pan. Okay, let's get started. On the Home tab, you'll notice a Style section. And in this area, it's where you're able to set up formatting definitions for your document um, to ensure consistency. And it's also where you're able to make overall formatting changes to your document. So what this area on your home tab is called is your quick style gallery. And what that is, it's a list of the styles that you use most often. So if you mouse over these styles, um, they will change the formatting in your document um, to give you a preview of what that style would look like. And there's all kinds of different styles that are already set up for you in Word. You'll just um, be able to explore and mouse over them to decide uh, which ones would fit your need. Um, for example, uh, there's heading styles, um, some subtitle styles, there's um, italicized, bold, um, all kinds of, you know, a quote, really whatever you want. Um, but if you find a style that you like, um, to apply that style, all you need to do is um, highlight whatever you want to be selected and click that button and once you click off of it um, that has then the style has then been applied to your document um, so as we said before ideally um, on your quick style gallery um, the styles that are appearing are the styles that you use most that you use most often so if there's a style up here that you don't use a lot and that you want to remove from your quick style gallery all you need to do is right click that style and come down here to remove from quick style gallery and you see it's no longer up on your um, quick style gallery if you decide that there's some that you want to re-add that quick style later all you need to do is go to your style pan which to pull up your style pan you'll just go to your dialog box and click that button this brings up your style pan okay so once you come here you'll just find the style that you'd like to add to your quick style gallery um, highlight it come over to the drop down arrow and click that Add to Quick Style Gallery button. And it pulls it right back up with your gallery. So as we said, this is what's called your Style Pan. And the Style Pan shows the list of all available styles to you. Right now, all your styles are just kind of in list form. But if you kind of want to preview all your styles, you can come down to Show Preview, highlight it, and you'll notice that all your styles are actually being displayed as they would show up in your document. Now, this is great, so that way you can visually see how all those styles will look but if you think that's too long for your purposes and you want it shorter and condensed you can always unclick that and it'll go back to list form so the next thing that I want to show you is the disabled link styles so when link styles is enabled that means that you can highlight one line of text or a character of text and you can apply style to that um, but when you come up here and disable your link styles um, that style will be applied to the entire paragraph. So as you see right here, we only have a sentence highlighted. Um, but when we come up here to click a different style, you'll notice that since disabled link styles was highlighted, the entire paragraph had the style applied to it. Okay, so now let's go over um, some of the different features that you can do in the style pan. So if you come over here and select a style, um, you can just mouse over it and pull this down arrow, which will show some different style features. The first one that you see is called Update um, Your Style to Match Selection. And all that means is if you select this, it's going to change your style to match the formatting of whatever your selected text is. You're also going to see what's called Select All. And if you click that, you see that it actually um, highlights all the different instances where that style shows up in your document. Come back over here, um, you'll also notice clear formatting. So if you click that, that will clear um, those two times that you've used the style. Or you can also choose to delete this style um, from your list of styles. And also you can um, choose to remove this from your quick style gallery. Now if you come down here to options, um, there are a few ways that you can customize your style pan to kind of fit your specific needs. So you'll just click options. And the first thing you'll see is select styles to show. So if you pull down this drop down menu, um, this is where you can control which styles will appear on your style pan. So if you choose recommended, that's going to show all the recommended styles. Um, or you could choose the ones that are in use, styles that are currently in your document, or you could just click all styles. Also you'll notice here is select how list is sorted. 
So what this is, is this will allow you to control how styles will be arranged on your list. So you can arrange your styles alphabetically um, as they're recommended. You can arrange them by font um, or by type. So really, if any of these meet your options, you can choose whatever you want. Okay, so another helpful thing to know is how to clear styles. So if you want to remove all formatting from your text, leaving only the style formatting, you can do that two ways. You can come up here to the Home tab and click your Clear Formatting button. Or you could also go to your Quick Style Guide um, and pull this button down and click Clear Formatting. The other thing you want to know is how to clear all formatting and styles. So to clear all formatting and styles, you'll just go to the Style pan and click the Clear All button. The next thing I want to show you is the Change Styles button. It's right up here on your Home tab, and what the Change Styles button allows you to do is it allows you to quickly edit your style um, features without editing a specific style. Um, so all you need to do is click your Change Styles button and it will pull up a lot of different things um, and options for you to change. This is where you can adjust some different style features and if you scroll over all these features it will show you a preview in your document. Uh, you will also be able to change colors here and you can change fonts as well as paragraph spacing. And to select any of these changes, all you need to do is highlight um, the different feature that you'd want to apply um, and click it, and then it will be applied to your document. Thank you for joining Nextstar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 Lesson 3. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to visit www.nextstar.tv for other tutorials, or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com front slash nextstara.